For at TV, the world is thinking. But just like immigration is important, positive, and productive, it's got to be done right. It's got to be done right. And unfortunately, it hasn't been done right. And one of the reasons why immigration reform crashed, and I take partial credit or whatever credit I was involved in, did not happen because we didn't do it right. It isn't just about what you do with an illegal population living in the United States the size of the population of Belgium. In this hemisphere would be the size of the population of Ecuador or Ohio. There are 12 plus million people here illegally. We don't know what they do. We don't know where they live. We don't know what they look like. We don't know what their backgrounds are. And that's the reason that the immigration portfolio falls into the Department of Homeland Security. In other countries, it's part of the Department of Labor, the Department of, of Social Services. We have a special obligation in the Department of Homeland Security because we need to know. Um, people would ask me, are you for or are you against immigration reform? Well, quite frankly, um, at this point it doesn't matter, but U.S. immigration law is legislative. We have so many immigration categories, we've run out of the alphabet. Now we have two alphabets and a number, or two numbers and a letter. We have to do it right. And we didn't do it right. And sometimes doing it right means hurting somebody's feelings. And sometimes doing it right means telling somebody, you have to go home. We have to balance we, we, have, we have to balance precaution with compassion, and we have to do it every single day. And I, and I, would, I would disagree with, with Professor Bustamante because in a way he kind of agreed with Heather when Heather said that we tend to lump illegal immigrants and legal immigrants. Um, you know what, when you talk about immigration, I genuinely, I agree with you, sir, that immigration is a bilateral or perhaps even a multilateral issue when you're doing it right and when you have a passport and if you open your passport, it says the bearer of, we ask the country that you take care of, we can all agree that legal travelers need protections and so forth. But when you start talking about people that are in this country in an undocumented fashion, people that are in this country and commit crimes, people that are in this country and commit crimes and avail themselves to the U.S. judicial process and a judge tells them to go home and they still don't, then it becomes a domestic issue for the United States because we must not only protect public safety, but we have to manage the populations living between our borders. This is, this is one of the most, I see we have a smattering of, this is one of the most contentious debates you will find today. I, I, I've never been anywhere where people are still willing to be convinced. The lines have been drawn. But at the same time, I would posit that we need to continue having this conversation. Because unless reasonable people can have agreements and disagreements, then the unreasonable people will have the day. We as Americans owe it to ourselves to continue being, and I will use the word, an open society in that we welcome those that want to come to our country. Everybody in this room has an ancestor that came here from somewhere else. That's a good thing. We need more of that. But we've got to do it right. And we have to be judicious about who we let into the country. And we have to be judicious about who gets to stay. And we have to be judicious about who your next door neighbor is going to be. Because for all you know, that's a very bad person in his home country. And now they're living next door to you. And you'll never know unless we do it right.